My makeup looks good, yeah? Is that a hair? I think I'm growing a hair. Guys, I technically wanted to wear a perfume before filming this video. Why? I don't know. Perhaps because I'm a presenter. We sometimes go overboard, but then, ugh. Hey you, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's that girl, you know, the it girl, your girl. <laughs> okay, no, technically my husband's girl. How are you doing? Hope you're fine. Hope you're taking care of yourself because it is necessary and important you know self-care first then you can share the love which is also good i am a presenter i don't know how much i have to emphasize on that one a tv presenter so because of this i have come in contact with a lot of people you know when you get invited to appear on tv people tend to get scared of you know coming on tv and getting nervous basic basically it's all in that mind like oh a lot of people are going to watch the world might be watching the, the continent might be watching even if it's my village people they might be watching so i don't want to embarrass myself you know i feel every person out there everyone wants to appear on tv once or twice or even more see basically now everyone is an entrepreneur in one way or the other there is something that you are selling it's either your skills or you know even if it's your motivational mind <laughs> because i have seen lots of motivational speakers on tv these days businesses so with all that one has to be prepared for when you get invited to make appearance on tv right so i decided to come and give you this just many advice for you to prepare yourself so that it won't be something scary for you whenever you get to be invited that way you'll be ready you know it is said that no i said that <laughs> i said that you can never be too ready for tv but then you can still look good at tv does that make sense it should i mean i put so much work to this to, to coming up with that with that motivational speech <laughs> yeah you can never be too ready i think overconfidence and to like <laughs> this is a video about do's and don't for tv appearance now this is a video for youtube new youtubers or you know people that want to start vlogging join the youtube community and also for people that would be invited as guests on tv and for future even tv presenters like future upcoming tv presenters that have this dream of wanting to host a tv show okay so with that being said let's get on to the point because there is no time yeah it's now or never <laughs> number one do be the bona fide expert now always put in the back of your mind that you are the one with the knowledge okay you are the one that needs to share something so you already know what you want to share make sure that you know that and be confident and never doubt yourself don't do that because the moment you start letting doubts enter your mind then you might start fumbling you might you know start shaking and that is not okay so always remember if you are the presenter of course you have to be knowledgeable for you to even sit in front of a camera you cannot sit down and start blabbing like you have to make your research okay because you are the one it's like you are the king of the camera you're you're the queen you are the person on the throne so you have to know what you're dishing out right and if you are the guest you know of the show then you are invited because of the knowledge that you have so just be confident and just speak your truth you know just go ahead and then dish out that have have that knowledge that you're the expert and then you know what you're talking about do prepare now guys i don't know how much i want to emphasize on this point do prepare okay right now i'll show you this this is my memo like i have a notebook here with me that i have jotted down 
all the things that need to be said like step by step that way i do not miss on the key point i don't miss on the message it doesn't matter if the interview is two hours long or two minutes long prepare yourself you might think that you know it all until you have been on camera and then you'll be like ah make sure you are clear on the subject make sure you know what you are going to talk about and make sure you actually have this clear key point on what you are going to talk about you have to if you you have to write it down i want to say if you can maybe cram it or something but that's hard you have to write it down either on your phone which i have here or on on your notepad or something notebook anything you have that you know you can save just write down your main points that way you would come prepared you will know what you're going to talk about and you would be ready and the message would be clear do know your audience now you have to know the audience for you to know what you're going to teach them right so you need to make research if you are the presenter then you have to know your audience definitely before you even start up the program before you know what your audience would want if you are making an appearance someone invited you saying okay, come on to our show and let's talk about what you do you already know your audience you know the show's audience if you don't know them make research so that you would know what they would like to hear if you know what your audience want you give it to them and then everyone lives happy do <laughs> dress the part guys this is something that i feel everyone need to know okay it does not matter if you're the presenter if you are the guest <laughs> wear something comfortable yet sophisticated look good feel good wear colors that would complement your skin now don't go over the top with patterns you know too much designs rather you could you could pick a solid piece in bold colors that would be the best choice never 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 wear excessive jewelry this is just a tv interview it's not a wedding that you need to show off or anything okay just maybe one piece something simple you know but then, like I said, sophisticated. So just minimal jewelries, okay? Just try and minimize them. If you're a guy, please make sure your tie is on flake, like it's not crooked. Let's not do that, okay? <laughs> do provide short and concise answers. Now, this is not for the presenter because if you are a presenter, then you should know that you have to explain what you're talking about in a layman's english for people for your viewers to understand so sometimes you need to broaden your discussion based on what you're talking about but then when you are a guest you know when you're making a tv appearance then you need to keep your answers short and concise like make sure it's on point now if you were asked what do you do I am a TV presenter and I also do skincare business. I am a skincare therapist. So that's it. That was the question you were asked. What do you do? So tell us about your skincare formulation. And then your answer would be, well, I have passion. I've always had passion for skincare. And when I realized that I could add one or two together to actually make someone's skin look healthy and give people tips and then people would come back and tell me, oh, what you gave me was awesome. I decided to put my head into it. So I make a lot of skincare products from body scrub, facial scrub, creams. I also make soaps. I make carrier oils also that's you been like precise just explaining what was asked so you need to understand always try to understand your questions before you give the answers so you need to like go straight to the point answer the question and you'd be safe do make eye contact now this is really important for a tv person like i am talking to you right now and i am looking at somewhere and just talking to you like this i'm very sure that you get bored and just decide to just leave me and not listen to what i'm saying but as i'm talking to you right now i'm making eye contact you know that i am talking to you so if you're a tv presenter you have to make eye contact with your audience and if the audience are live or you know it's a camera like mine then make sure your eye 
is on the lens on the camera lens and if you are this this goes two ways okay if you are the one making a tv appearance unless if the presenter or the host of the show tells you okay you can say something to my camera that's when you can look at the camera and talk but else you are being interviewed so your eye contact is only to the person you are talking to you're talking to you're basically addressing an invisible audience so you have to talk to the person that is asking you the questions that would make sense right do use facial expressions now this is one important thing you have to use your face for you to emphasize your point if you're angry if you're sad at something show that you're angry if you want your audience or your viewers to be on the same page with you then you need to you know work with your facial expression if you're angry like i am so angry that things are going this way that i decided to like show you how i am feeling if you're sad a lot of things have been happening that i just needed to tell you and i tried but i can't hide it you know and if you are happy try and show that you're happy that in your stories imagine if you're telling a story and then if you're sad you, you show that you're sad if you have and then you, oh my god guys i need to tell you about this and i'm super excited guys like you need to see this is me showing you basically um three expressions of, of what i am feeling inside so if you are on tv make sure that you try to work your facial expression and don't forget to smile if it's a good thing it's always a good it's mostly rather it's mostly good things so try to smile you know while talking do sit up straight or stand up straight if you are like i'm sitting down i need to like relax and my shoulder should be a bit down not too i can't i can't go like this you know i'm too relaxed and i'm talking to you like hi everyone so um and i can't go like this so what i'm saying is that looks too serious so um your shoulder needs to be a bit free like relax yourself and talk to the camera feel free to know move your hands move your hands and if you are standing make sure that you don't you know slouch or something or try to i don't know not look balanced try to look confident stand and make movement you know talk talk that talk and work that work <laughs> well um basically i think we should move to the don't because if i should go on with the do's there are lots of do's but if you want me to do part two of this video where i can bring you more do's and more don't then um drop it tell me let me know on the comment section give this video a thumbs up and then i would do that i think i've done 10 do's so let's get to the don't don't be late now if you are the tv host you know it is worse for you to come late because you would be disheveled disorganized you would be overwhelmed a lot of things would happen and then before you know it you might actually lose your balance and start rushing up things and not understand what you're saying it's just like that so if you are the tv host if you're the presenter make sure you're on time that's basics now abby you are supposed to be there sit down relax practice you know before the camera turn on and if you were invited as a guest <laughs> please do yourself a favor and go early because as a tv presenter i tend to want to meet the person i am going to be interviewing so that we could cheese and i'll get to know you better and then we can form this sort of um on-screen chemistry you know so that you would feel relaxed and feel free to talk to the camera so if you are late as a guest you won't have that time already it's time and then perhaps it's my it might not be pre-recorded it might be live and then you already there is no time to actually get acquainted to the person interviewing you you would carry that nervousness you're already tired you haven't sat down to relax you haven't even <laughs> sipped water or something so it would dishevel you honestly and then you won't bring out the best in you in that interview so just to make sure that you are not late to your interview now this one is a funny one don't use um or ah uh, i know i use them a lot sometimes in uh, my vlogs 
yeah i do that but basically i feel it's because i'm not prepared because i know when i am on tv i can't do that it has to be limited when you're talking make sure you watch your speed don't be too fast and do not be too slow so you need to make sure while you're talking your breathing and your speaking should be steady it should be calm okay it's okay for you to pause it is better than to feel it with awkward uh <laughs> so uh what you i just did that oh my god <laughs> you need to practice that a lot if you are talking calmly or just you know breathing not fast then you have that time to think before other things come to mind you might be talking and then some things are coming slowly but when you are too fast then you start going uh, um, um. just minimize it okay i don't think um <laughs> i don't think most people can go without saying it on tv for long especially if you haven't practiced your speech or what you're going to say a lot but then if you try as much as possible you can limit it minimizing it is the key don't ignore your body language start like i said and deduce sit up straight stand up straight when you're standing no swaying you know no excessive swaying and also hand gesture for tv presenter you should know that if you are presenting if you are if you are anchoring news definitely there is no hand gesture it's just you like doing this just talking you know and if you are doing a formal interview then you know that your hand movement is has to be minimum but if you're doing a talk show then yes yes please let's go on with the hand gesture you know to show that we're explaining what you're saying so if you are being interviewed if you're the one making appearance on tv you have to minimize your hand gesture now hand gestures sometimes tend to be used to hide the fact that you're scared i don't know if you can see oh i'm trying to i never knew it was down here so hand gestures you know are sometimes used for you to hide the fact that you're nervous because sometimes someone's hand might be trembling so it's okay too but just minimize it not too much not in, in, like this because it tends to get distracting to the viewers or the audience and the, someone's um eyes or focus will not remain on your hand and not what you are saying so make sure you are limiting it the main aim of you being on tv is to get people to listen to what you're saying okay yeah don't look into the camera I know it seems like I am contradicting myself, but no, calm down, relax. I'm going to explain what I mean. If you are the TV presenter, then you know that when you're making an introduction, you have to look at your camera and make contact with whom you are talking to, right? So um, you have to introduce yourself, make the intro, the outro while looking at the camera. But then the moment you introduce your guest, then your eye contact lifts the camera and just goes to um, who you're interviewing. The only moment it can come back to the camera is if what um, your interviewer said is something that you want to emphasize about, then you turn and look to your audience and be like, oh my God, did you hear what it said and all that talk and then turn back. But then else you make, you talk to um, your guest. So it's like two way for the presenter talking to the camera or your into your guest but then when you are the guest then you should address your interviewer you address the person interviewing you and not the camera except if the uh, presenter tells you i want you to talk to my camera then you can do that just for some minutes do not forget the three c's make sure you use the three six six <laughs> c make sure you use the three c's okay i got it right this time <laughs> to try and make your speech powerful the first one is concise the second one is conversational and the third one is catchy don't forge facts don't speculate okay don't predict talk about what you know be honest what you know is what you are given if you do not know if you are not sure avoid that point just go straight to the point okay because viewers and audience watching are smart definitely there will be someone that will be like ah oh, but it's not so 
and then your credibility would like flush down the drain so you need to be sure of what you're saying don't make excuses or apologize if you do that then they dilute your credibility just like i said so in order for you not to even reach to a point where you start um oh i'm sorry i'm i'm sorry it wasn't no it wasn't really actually what i said um, it's not no it's not my point for you to avoid that just be honest so because if you don't then like i said it will have to it will dilute your credibility and that's not okay okay both for the presenter and the guest don't mumble just try not to mumble or allow your voice to trail off because that way as your voice is trailing off people will becoming bored people will trail away from the screen as well you make people lose interest don't memorize questions and answers this is basically for the person making tv appearance you should know that most times your questions are being sent to you before you make appearance on tv right make sure make sure you're not cramming those questions for you to like memorize your answers because your pre your, your presenter or the the host of the show might not ask the question the same it could be random it could be phrased in a different form so the most important thing for you is to understand the questions understand the questions and then get ready for the answers but please do not don't make the mistake of cramming your questions or your answers or you're memorizing it that would be hard it too because if if um your host tend to like throw um throw you off you know you would get shaken and then before you know before you start um, trying to get yourself back uh, the audience have already you know sniffed your fear is out don't over promote now you as a guest coming on on show you know that yes you you're there to promote what you do right but then do not overdo it the moment you talk little and then you come back oh don't forget to oh don't forget to oh i also people tend to get like we have seen you we have heard you you must not repeat yourself too much that would make you look not so classy so instead act classy be classy because you are classy okay so just sit down say your piece and yeah just leave it don't over promote it's a no no i think i gave out nine don't so like i said if you want me to do part two of this then like this video and drop it on the comment section telling me to do part two and i will do it with that being said if you have plans of being a tv presenter or making tv appearance make sure you smile be enthusiastic and have fun that's the deal that's the main goal okay thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and leave comments on the comment section about what i said and tell me about your experience if you have ever been on tv tell me your experience what you've learned so far because i feel every day people learn right like right and also please if you are new do not forget to click on the red subscribe button i know for a fact that there are some people who have been coming sneaking around watching my videos but you haven't subscribed yet please click on the red subscribe button please 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 and don't forget to like this video like i said likes help videos grow so for my returning viewers for my new subscribers i love you all until next time it's that girl signing out bye